There are thousands upon thousands of old rigs like the one south of Clyde Lake that businessmen like Chris Tazarski have taken and turned back on. On a lease like this, they can get about five or so barrels per day of production. But for every five barrels of oil collected a day, there's about 200 barrels of waste collected as well. Sometimes they do send off the waste, but that's not very cost effective. So Tazarski has found a way to turn that waste into water. And I think it's become abundantly clear, especially over the last couple months, just how desperate the water situation is here in West Texas. It's a long process. In fact, it's a complicated science. So the pH of this right now is about 6.5. It's a lot of stuff in addition to everything I've learned in chemistry, but have since forgotten. 105 parts per thousand. We're taking that out and we're allowing an opportunity for communities or the ranchers or wherever we are to be able to use those fresh water resources for whatever it is that people need to use fresh water for. Just so happens we can also drink it right out of the tap. And drink it they did changing the way we might look at an oil lease right here in Texas. And not to be outdone, I figured since they're taking a drink of it, I figured I might as well too. Tastes fine to me, but they're not promoting it as drinking water, but they're telling me they'll let you tell them what you want it for. It really can be a game changer in terms of dealing with water, produced water from the oil field, and other water that has oil and solid problems. And we're creating water that can be used as a resource. I mean, that to me is, is the whole reason I wanted to be, and we all wanted to be into this business.